the driving forces behind the success of Grand Funk Railroad. Beyond the loud rock and roll of the band was the searching heart of Mark Farner, who wrote some of Grand Funk's biggest hits. Mark explains that his Christian background gave a spiritual quality to many of the songs he was writing. When I was nine years old, my father died, my own father died, and I, I, just, I couldn't accept it mentally. I just was wandering around the house, not going to bed at night, crying all night, and I remembered that through having to go, being forced to go to church by my great-grandmother, God bless her soul, she, uh, she introduced me to Jesus or how to get there. Anyways, I never accepted the Lord prior to this, but I, I went to the Lord then, and He comforted me. He was... It was beyond human comforting. This is what I needed. He came in at nine years old. I just wasn't ready for what you know a Christian is supposed to be and what a Christian is really supposed to do with his life. I backslid for years, but the Lord never abandoned me. He was always faithful to answer my prayers. Closer to home, uh, one of Grand Funk's biggest songs. I got up in the middle of the night after praying before I went to bed for the Lord to give me music and words that would touch the ears of the people he would want touched. important question. How did Jesus Christ apprehend Mark Farner of Grand Funk Railroad? Three years ago, I was at another low point in my life. My wife had left me, and after a couple of weeks of just searching my soul, and I had the boys, we were at home, and uh, I'd been going to various churches. I'd go to Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday and Thursday, trying to, trying to find, you know, I knew I needed Jesus, but I was getting a lot of... Uh, hellfire and brimstone condemnation things that I just didn't I wouldn't go forward to tell people where I was at or how I was hurting um, I finally walked into a little Assembly of God church I just listened to this 76 year old preacher up there just getting down and every word he said was for my heart I mean the Lord put me there in that last pew and I was sitting back there weeping and when he gave an altar call I ran down the aisle up to that altar and I just got back with the Lord and I just prayed forgiveness for the sins and for being away from him and I just asked him to take my life back over in full strength and make me what he wanted me to be. Part of what Mark believes God wants him to be is an evangelist of sorts, mixing old Grand Funk songs with new Mark Farner numbers which convey the message of the gospel. And he's doing it, not in churches, but in bars and concert halls. Jesus talk to all the old Grand Funk fans, especially because there were seeds planted there before I even know I, I knew I was planting seeds. And I want to talk to those people. I want to talk to their kids. I want to talk to people that come into a place like this that, that are searching because, you know, bars are full of backsliders, too, we found out. And the Holy Ghost goes in and busts them. Big time. They come. What of them do? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So uh, th these are the kind of people that we, we really want to touch because the Lord didn't call me to be an entertainer of Christians. Although entertainment is a byproduct of what I do, I believe that my ministry is evangelism for the sinner.
I just want to be a good servant for the Lord. That's no matter what a, what capacity. I just want to go into churches, schools, do benefits, do bars, and wherever the Lord will put me. I ain't any different than you. I got love in me just like you. Do you love me? I love you. And I know where that love comes from. I got an abundance of love, and I thank God for it. Because I got right with Jesus Christ here about three years ago, and I just been full up with him. And I'm proud of it. So I give all the glory to him now.